First, take out of all items from the package. Package includes monitor, camera, sunshield, U bracket, 23 feet, 33 feet, 43 feet extension cable, 3M sticker, power cable, cigarette lighter, screws and T-taps. Pick up the monitor. Install the sunshade to the monitor. Pick up the U bracket. Take out the screws. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the side of the monitor. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the side of the monitor. Use screws to secure the monitor and bracket. Tighten the screws. The operation is the same as before. Follow my operation. The U bracket can be flexibly adjusted. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Pick up the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Paste it on the bottom of the bracket. Tear off the other half of the 3M sticker and paste it on the dashboard. Pick up the extension cable for monitor. Connect the monitor's extension cable to the monitor. Pick up the cigarette lighter adapter and unplug the green connector. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to the DC connector of the extension cord. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the cigarette lighter outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up. Connect the first camera to the yellow connector of the monitor extension cable. Tighten the screws. Connect the second camera to the black connector of the monitor extension cable. The image appear on the screen. There are 8 lights. This is a sensor. Please cover the light sensor on the camera and the camera infrared lights will turn on dull red. The IR light is on and the image is black and white. The IR light does not light up and the image is in color. Now it's a HD2 channel. Press the CH key to switch to the AHD1 channel. Please cover the light sensor on the camera and the camera infrared lights will turn on dull red. The test finished. Now loosen the screws and disconnect the power from the camera. Pick up the 33 feet extension cord. Take out the camera bracket screws. Pass the screw through the hole in the camera bracket. Install the camera where you need it. Connect one end of the 33 feet extension cable to the first camera. Take out the screws. 
Put the waterproof cover on. Connect the other end of the 33 feet extension cable to the yellow connector on the monitor. Tighten the screws. Pick up the 43 feet extension cord. Connect one end of the 43 feet extension cable to the second camera. Put the waterproof cover on. Connect the other end of the 43 feet extension cable to the black connector on the monitor. Press the CH key to switch the camera's channel. The both channel has image. You can also supply power by ACC, fuse, ignition switch or radio. Now disconnect the wiring of the cigarette lighter adapter. Connect the power cable to the DC connector on the video cable. Red is positive, black is negative. Please test positive and negative when wiring. Connect the red wire of the power cord to the positive side of the ACC, fuse, ignition switch or radio. Connect the black wire of the power cord to the negative of the ACC, fuse, ignition switch or radio. The image appear on the screen. Press the power key to turn off the screen, the blue status light on. Press the power key again to turn on the screen, the blue status does as light up. Press the SEL key to turn on the guideline. Press the SEL key again to turn off the guideline. Press the CH key to switch to the AHD1 channel. Press the CH key again to switch to the AHD2 channel. The up and down keys only work in the main menu mode or adjust guidelines. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the SEL key to enter the PIC. Press the up or down key to adjust brightness. Press the SEL key to switch to the contrast. Press the up or down key to adjust contrast. Press the SEL key to switch to the saturation. Press the up or down key to adjust saturation. Press the SEL key to switch to the tint. Press the up or down key to adjust tint. Press the M key to return to the previous interface. Press the up or down key to switch to the car. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the up or down key to turn on, off the guideline of the AHD1 channel. Press the SEL key to switch to the car LINE2. Press the up or down key to turn on, off the guideline of the AHD2 channel. Press the SEL key to switch to the car delay. Press the up or down key to adjust the car delay time or turn off the delay time function. You can set the delay time to 3S, 5S, 9S, 12S, such as 6S. Press the SEL key to switch to the black. Presses the M key to quit the menu mode. Press the CH key to switch to the AHD1 channel. AHD2 has a reverse priority function, and the image will automatically switch when you put it into reverse gear. After the reversing is completed, Shift the gear again, and the image will automatically switch to the AHD1 channel after 6 seconds. The system automatically switches to the AHD2 channel.
Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the car. Press the SEL key to confirm. Presses the SEL key to switch to the black. Press up or down key to turn on the black. The black mode is only available for channels which no image. Presses the M key to quit the menu mode. Power off the first camera. Now HD1 channel has no picture, shows black screen. Press the power key to turn on the screen, it still shows black. The AHD2 channel has a picture and the monitor shows the image. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the car. Press the SEL key to confirm. Presses the SEL key to switch to the black. Press the up or down key to turn off the black. Presses the M key to quit the menu mode. Press the CH key to switch to the AHD1 channel. Now power off the first camera. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the mode. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the up or down key to flip the image of AHD1 channel. Press the SEL key to switch to the Rotate 2. Press the up or down key to flip the image of AHD2 channel. Press the SEL key to switch to the Zoom. Press the up or down key to select the screen size ratio. Press the SEL key to switch to the Mirror 1. You can turn on, off the mirror mode of the AHD1 channel. Press the SEL key to switch to the mirror 2. Press the up or down key to turn on, off the mirror mode of the AHD2 channel. Press the M key to return to the previous interface. Press the up or down key to switch to the set. Press the SEL key to confirm. Press the up or down key to select the language you need. Press the SEL key to switch to the screen save. This mode is suitable for channels without images. Press the up or down key to select the screen save time or turn off the screen time function. You can set 1 minute, 3 minutes or 5 minutes, such as 1 minute. Presses the M key to quit the menu mode. Now disconnect the wiring from the camera. The screen turns blue. Omit a minute here. The monitor turns black after a minute. Press any key to switch to blue screen and wake up the monitor. Now connect one end of the extension cable to the camera. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up or down key to switch to the set. Press the SEL key to confirm. Presses the SEL key to switch to the screen save. Press the up or down key to turn off the screen save. Press the SEL key to switch to the reset. Press up or down key to turn on the reset. Ignore this step. Presses the M key to quit the menu mode. When the guideline appear on the screen. Press the M key, when the H appear on the screen. Press the up or down key to move the guideline left and right. Press the M key, when the V appear on the screen. Press the up or down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the M key, when the W appear on the screen. Press the up or down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the M key again to quit the menu mode. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole.
camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom, 